Hey everybody, welcome back to West of Loathing. I just, uh, was knocked unconscious in a random encounter <clears throat> by a herd of giant flaming cow skulls, as you do. So I'm glad I left myself with an extra ang anger <clears throat> so I wouldn't get knocked out and have to go all the way back to dirt water. I was just checking all the rest of the places I didn't get to last time and found some en enemies and, uh, just leave it at that. So here, I think I don't need anything here. It's pretty high level, not high level, um, uh, high skilled when I came here the first time, so. <laughs> Why? Um, so I think one of the last things I want to do is go try and take on the Jelly Bean Gang guys again. Um, just take some of these things. What is my health and stuff like? Do I just, it does just get reset. Okay. Excellent. So, um, I haven't visited a Roy Bean yet, but I can't imagine there's anything left to do besides go to the Jelly Bean Thieves hideout. Uh, no more mushrooms, no more yogurt, no more exploring my inner consciousness while running in place. I'm gonna kill someone, kill it, and eat it. Holy jeez, that fox up. Thinking quickly, you dig a hole in the ground and cover it with sticks and leaves. When the guy finally arrives, he was a long way away when you first saw him. He falls headfirst in the pit and knocks himself unconscious. <clears throat> Level up my bean wall. Nice. Um, okay, so I still have all of this. There's five of them though. Uh, I, I mean, I guess let's try. Uh, you approach the bandit seated around the fire. The meanest looking one speaks up. Dunno who you think you are, stranger, but you better turn yourself around and head back the way you came, unless you want to eat lead. Well, that's not very neighborly. Oh, I could outfox him if I had enough outfoxing. Take a hike, neighbor, which might be what I have to try and get. You fellas stole a jar of jelly beans from an old man, and I aim to have them back. Oh, is that right? And just how are you planning on doing that? With, uh, um, uh, with coffee. I have cold leftover coffee from yesterday. <clears throat> I added a bit of milk to it. I slightly lactose intolerant, but I... But I took a dairy pill so I could have leftover pizza. Uh, what are they called? Lactate? Lactose? No? Whatever it's called. Um, so I took that and so I figured why not just have some milk with my coffee as well. I usually just have it black. Let's see. 45 spooky damage is a lot of- 55 hot damage is a lot of hot damage. Take my hot, hot damage. I don't know who I want to get rid of first. I guess you. A burly jelly bean bandit. A mean jelly bean bandit. Scary. Dirty. Woodsy. Let's get rid of the first line of people first, I guess. Ten action points. Alright, I'll just have to make them count. Uh, as soon as he can attack for 27 damage. Yeah, construct some hastily built cover in front of me as well. <clears throat> Why not? Oh, that ended your turn. Dang it. <laughs> you hit that guy? That's great. Cinnamon Blast. Rude. That was funny. Okay. Um, 50 hot damage to you. Yeah. And attack. I don't know how much longer that'll hold, but there's one, two, three, four. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. That's okay. We're not okay. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. Uh, <clears throat> bean wall, yes. Should I take a med kit? 10 HP, that's not very many APs. Let's see. Target will get wet. Ten oh, that's what that's for. Set the target on fire. Kerosene making it flammable. 20 damage. Skeletal buddy. Ah, 15 HP, that's better. Heal. 47. Did you just squeeze that? I missed the animation. You did just squeeze that liver on yourself, alright. 
as you will. Let's just give myself a teeny bit more health. Alright, and then let's... I think you are the one who's doing spells on me. Just not everyone increases to cowardly. Eh. Let's do this. I can start taking care of... I mean... Oh, Sally can take... Susie! Ooh, man. It's gonna be a long day. It's a Monday morning. My meeting was canceled, so I figured I'd record an extra YouTube video. You stop that. You're still mean. 54 hot damage. Need to take a couple more HPs. 70 sounds good. I'll get you. 54. Sip of coffee. How's everybody's week? Mine is shaping up to be pretty good. Ooh. Ooh. Stop hurting me. You're so mean. Uh-oh, I can't do beam. Oh, four. Okay, I can do that. She's gonna be close. I'm gonna run on AP. 48, let's see. 58. <laughs> I think that I just throw them up onto myself. It's a very good game. Uh, 130. I attack you. Except for 40, 18, 17. Let's do this. Because you're the only one who can hit me. Without the wall. I should have taken you out first. Now that I think about it. Oh well. Punch on fire. Cinnamon blast. Alright, I should be able to take you out between Susie and myself. And that might take you out with the hot damage, but just to be safe. Uh-oh. 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 Let's see. One AP. Well, in my turn. Sniff it. <laughs> um, sniff it again. Okay, two action points. I can build a beam wall. Where will this build the beam wall, though? Sometimes it builds it behind me and that doesn't help at all. Alright, so let's do some AP damage a lot more. But if I do stench, you'll take damage every turn, maybe? Let's try it. Oh, okay, well. Ooh, please don't kill me. Okay, good. Um, bean wall, here we go. And now, attack you with my. What was this sword called? Something, something, something. Yes, regen health. 19 damage. I don't know how long this beam will last. Maybe just the end of this turn. I'd like to get this part of the story over with. Okay. Let's attack you. Susie, attack you. You are not doing very much damage. How do I level up Susie? Do I just have to make her attack cows? Hmm. Cows were killed me last time. It's 10 cows. How much health do you have? 106. I have 15 dynamites. But <laughs> why? I kept finding a lot of crates of dynamite just out in the desert. It was great. 66. Okay. 46. One more, and then I think between Susie and myself, we can take her out. Sorry if you hear my phone buzz. I'm technically on the clock and have to keep it on me in case a teacher calls in sick. So if you see me looking over, it's on my clock because I hear it buzzing and I'm making sure it's not full. You fight them and win, which is surprising because those guys are supposed to be real tough. Yeah, they were tough to kill me the first time. A bandit revolver, extra black hat. <laughs> Youch. It's standing in there, doesn't it? Ow, dang, nabbit. Yikes. What's that? A filthy bedroll. 
It's the missing. No, I was looking at. Excuse me. Mint, mint jelly beans. Green jelly beans are in excellent condition. That's funny. Jelly S cargo. Ooh. Guys, what's headband? 20 maximum HP. Needle, shaped tequila, some meat stuff, some mustard stuff. Yeah, look at that, more dynamite. Loot. Og oil. Increases your muscle, cool. Did I get everything out of here then? Alright, let's go give this back to Roy. Excellent, and then we'll go check out the left hand side. Can we do anything to this? Hey, Roy. Howdy, Edna. You recover that jar of jelly beans by chance? Sure did. What is this? Oh, hell better. Tamper the force of nature, making yourself a force of nature. The force of nature. Well, I'll be. Thank you kindly, Edna. I won't ask for details, but I hope they were sufficiently grisly. Now, the second jar of jelly beans is stolen. Second. By a second, uh, stolen by a parcel of them weird goblin fellows. Couldn't understand a word they were saying, but they were very insistent. Which way did they go? Oh, northwest told the toward that old huge cactus folks call old granddad. Here, I'll mark it on your map. You can't miss it. All right, I'm on it. Why is it? I don't, do I want to know? All right, let's go to old, let's go visit old granddad. That's ominous. Gigantic. Look at the size of that thing. It's correct. All right, let's do this. I get, I can talk to, uh, I can talk to goblins, so I'm here for taking back a jar of jelly beans you goblins stealing. Oh, what? Jelly beans, little colorful sugar things. Oh, little fruit rocks. Yeah, those. Those are for the pile. The what? Anyways, no upstairs for humans. Hmm, maybe we can trading? No trading, but you can bribing me. Oh my gosh. Okay, cool. What are you wanting? A candy bar. A good human candy bar. Of the bubbles happen, you know? Do you mean this? That's why I needed soap? Are you kidding me? Oh yes, wonderful. Thanking you. Can I climbing now? Sure. Awesome. Do I have any more soap? Please tell me I have soap. A P Q R S. Uh, I don't have any more soap. Uh oh. We'll see if we need it. Ah, pointy. There's another goblin here blocking another ladder. Hey. Uh, hello. No climbing for humans. Too bad. Talk to them. Can I bribe you to letting me climbing? Oh, hmm, hmm, okay. What are you wanting? Cactus syrup, a delicious vein being in the other room, but I had losing my tap. Okay, I'm being right back. What is this? <sighs> if you were a tap, where would you be? To heck with a tap. Can I just gather it? No, and I... 40 mysticality or 40 moxie. What is my character at? Oh no, can I eat anything else? Spleen. Potions. Uh oh. What, uh, can I sort by? Potions. Hog oil. Muscle. Moxie. Armor. HP. Mysticality. Okay, I need to raise my mysticality by three. Oh, I can take these. Melee damage. Spell damage. What was I supposed to... Was it melee and moxie? Mysticality 40 or moxie 40. Okay, mysticality. Okay, so it's gonna have to be mysticality. Muscle, moxie, armor. Uh, that one will be it. Moxie by speed. Fully opens your third eye. That's tempting. Drop mysticality by three, but it reduces your mutt. Nope. Melee. Okay, so it's gonna have to be nerve pills. Let's take them. We got a whole lot of nerve. Alright. Make attack. You bolt a flange into a pipe and then add a couple of rusty widgets. It's not pretty, but it's a tap. You also find an empty jar in a pile, which will be handy. Nice. Tap it. Gross. Oh, here's the Oops. Hey, friend. Yes. Hooray! The guard guzzles the entire bottle in a single long draw. It's both fascinating and disgusting. Needing more for proper bribing. Of course you are. Can I just pick some up for myself after I... Yes, take it. 
Guzzle's good. Can I take some more? Do you think? It's all tapped out. Ridiculous. Of course, what do you want? Hello, hi! Can I? Nope. Okay, can I? Yes. Bringing me goblin elixir. A potion of extra delicious being. So good. Is that in here? This table is covered with flasks, speakers, bottles, tubes, burners, and all the other equipment that makes up a super elaborate alchemy table, including a whole bunch of different colored liquids and powders and stuff. Make a goblin elixir. Well, that's easy for you to say. Look for instructions. You find a scrap of paper in the drawer that looks like maybe instructions for an elixir, but it's all in goblin science jargon that you don't understand. You should start mixing things, I guess. You pick up a beaker and look at the ingredients. Start with some mauve lumps, brown juice, violets, the violet slime. And then add some, uh, uh, what goes with violet? Orange oil. The mixer turn, turns chartreuse and starts to smoke a little. What's next? Some clear granules. The mixture turns indigo and starts to smoke even harder. Uh, spit in it. The mix, uh, you work up a good mouthful of saliva. <laughs> and spit into the beaker. Gross. The mixture turns yellow and starts to smoke like crazy. You manage to pitch the concoction out the window and duck under the table just in time. It explodes with a tooth-rattling bang. Jeez, this alchemy stuff is tricky. Instructions? Okay, just start mixing. Uh, I'm just gonna start clicking. Oh, well, okay. Uh, smells terrible, though. Keep it. Goblin elixir. Hey. It's just all the top options. Awesome. Here. Probably. <laughs> Here's your elixir. Probably. Is that... Uh, the goblin moves away from the ladder and takes a sip. Is it good? Yes, perfect! Huh. Cool. I mean, I know... I can't tell if you're like a sand sculpture... You hear that noise? That's crazy. Holy crap. If this isn't the most disturbing thing you've ever seen, I don't want to know what is. Hey, uh, guys. Those jelly beans. Can I too having them? Oh, what? Our fruit rocks? No! It's a ridiculous profile picture. No, not taking our fruit rocks. These being ours, not for you taking. Jeez Louise. What's your plan for dealing with Sora? Talk to it. Uh, yank a goblin off a pile. Pop three off and fight them. The same again except five of them. Talk to it. But not looking like you're eating them, a jar is still full. What eating? Fruit rocks not for eating. Fruit rocks just for looking at. You just looking at them? Not fitting through the floor hole, can't leave in room, fruit rocks only, entertainment being. Good grief, that sad. Try to help them out. Okay, how about I teach you something else entertaining? Something better than fruit rocks looking at? Mm, okay, sounding good. I agreeing. I'm not certain what being better than fruit rocks looking at. 20 questions. You teach the goblins how to play 20 questions, and once you get them over the initial hurdle of a goblin being neither animal, vegetable, nor mineral, they pick it up pretty fast. Soon they are so focused on the game that they stop paying attention to you entirely. Excellent. Get him. Uh, you got green, green apple jelly beans. A big jar of inexperienced, inexperienced apple flavored jelly beans. Bye bye. Oh, can I just leave? Yeah. Hey, Roy. El Vibrato. Yeah. One to three, three, seventeen, forty-nine damage. Yeah. Of course. Coffee. Ouch. Alright. Oof, my shoulder popped really good when I just rotated on the ow. Uh what's my next? Master cookery sweet and some Elvibrado scraps. Oh, I made Elvarado shoes on accident. I was just randomly clicking buttons. Made shoes. It's a long and weird. Oh wait, uh, look, the goblins didn't need any. It's a long and weird story. Well then, never mind. You've done a small job, kid. I've only got one more jar of jelly beans missing. They were stolen by a gang of damn hippies. Why'd they take them? Heck, who knows what a hippie's thinking? All I know is that they took off heading south a little bit west. Shroom cave. Okay, that sounds great. I'll be right back. Shroom cave. Looks like there might be something else down here. Your transponder starts making that bleeping noise that means either treasure or a monster, and who can resist that gamble? Not you. At least on this encounter. Anyway, your involuntary risk-taking is rewarded when you find a high-tech crate. Sadly, it is locked. Open it. 
Ooh, a punch card. You cross your fingers and feed the crate one of your valuable keystones. It opens to reveal scraps and a, and a punch card. There are a lot of shrooms out here. Can I pick them up? No? Ah. Uh, dang it. Ow. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Seeing shroom players. Oh, it's the extremely hallucinogenic. Is that the one that opens my third eye when made into an elixir? Great. Yeah, harvest that again. What is that? What is that? A mushroom map? Mushroom map? Read it. The map is labeled shroom locations and shows a weird convoluted trail leading to a big X. You recognize the X as this very cave. The source of the trail looks like it's right near that, that weird fort full of dirty weirdos. Okay. Full of dirty- hey, I, I see you. There we go. The bone's wearing some shredded necromancer cultist clothes. Read it. Cool, 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 cool. I have human ash. Nothing of interest. There's a word here. Grutch. Wait, what was I supposed to do? Examine. Consume them? Why would I consume them? Leave them alone. You're not offering to consume the handful of loose teeth. I thought I could ensorcel these things. Oh. A skeleton wizard? <gasps> okay, I know we did that. Um, are there any other bones that I could ensorcel? Uh, no, I'm not gonna eat those. Get out of here. Disgusting. Old tooth cow things. What else can I ensorcel? Nothing. Ugh. My hands are freezing. Should I consume them? Someone lost a very dirty knapsack. We already checked that. Hmm. It's my favorite walk cycle. <laughs> huh. Well, let me read this again. There we go. Whoa, whoa, if that increases my mystically by 23, what does a full potion do? Uh, mushroom hat. The source of the trail looks like it's right near that weird fort full of dirty weirdos. Okay, weird fort. Are you talking about the fort of darkness? El vibrato, yeah, I'll break this really quick. Hmm. What if it is Fort of Darkness? I guess we'll find out in a second. I can't figure out where else it would be. Dirty Weirdos. Dirty Weirdos. Hmm. Lava Baba, my way to victory. Hooray. I guess we'll find out. I think I can make. Jelly beans? You see any jelly beans? I, uh, yeah, I had some jelly beans recently. I don't quite remember. Mm, oh, they were in my lounge. Where's that? I don't quite remember. It's only there part of the time anyway. What? <laughs> I don't know. Would you like to buy a mushroom? Do you know anything about a lounge? Teeth, teeth. Okay, that makes sense. Teeth, jawbones. I see. I've been there, but for some inexplicable reasons, I was never invited to return. Inexplicable. I would self-actualize by returning on my own, but I don't remember where it is, and Todd will not tell me. It's quite frustrating, you seeing the jelly beans. Uh, well, first you must take care to divine our turn. Oh, cut the crap before I cut you. <laughs> uh, no, I have not, but I do know that Irene, the newest and, dare I say, the most delightful of our little clan, is particularly fond of them. Hey, 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 yeah. 
Teenage Jelly Beans. Uh, blasted, blah, 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 blah. You know, Irene's Lounges. Yeah, uh, oh yeah, I do. Don't, uh, don't tell that talking dude if you don't mind. But it's in that cave where we got all of our mushrooms. Mm, I didn't see a lounge there. It's, uh, you gotta be, he jerks with some of the apparatus behind the weeks. Winks. If you have any little mushrooms. Okay. Are you telling me I have to take a mushroom to be able to see it? Okay. I guess we'll go back to Shroom Cave and take a potion? Oops, didn't mean the map. I meant my inventory. You swallow the extract, the world turns inside out as your mind replaces it. You gain an effect, Bacchus Galvacturius, like wow. Hey! <laughs> uh, this is amazing, what a strange lamp. I got a strange lamp! Use it. You'll want to do it where you live. Oh, well. Come in the sofa. Grab him. <laughs> I dig this music. Dance! Alright, I'm done. <laughs> oh, I was hoping the music would follow me. Too bad. Hey! I got them! Well, I'll be jiggered. I didn't figure on seeing any of them jelly beans again, and here you brought back all three jars. I ain't got much reward yet or a handshake, Edna, but maybe I'll be able to repay you somehow in the future. Don't sweat it, Roy. I was happy to help. That's a lie. I cannot believe you didn't give me anything. Okay. I think we're done. I'm done checking everything over here, and there's some things I can't get, but uh, we're heading on to Frisco because I want to do some new story stuff. A uh, gurgling hiss draws your attention to a nearby skeleton. Honestly, just the fact that there is a skeleton here should have been enough to draw your attention, but I guess you're getting used to them. This one is wearing a rusted antique conquistador armor, caked with mud and rotting seaweed, and a waterlogged old blunderbuss as you fight him. That is a big gun. Whoa, you're faster than me? That's impressive. Whew. Whoa, Susie, only five damage. Well, build me some cover that'll be useful. Oh, what do you think Frisco's gonna be like? Excited to see it. Hot damage, you. Yeah, it is cold. I'm tempted to turn on the heater, but I also don't want to waste it. It doesn't look like he's damaging it at all. That's great. Yeah, take that. Mud clogged blunderbuss. Apply three poison to enemy. Oh, huh. nice. Check that out in a second. Mama, wait a Frisco. It looks like you're like doing stretches, not necessarily that you want to talk to me. Howdy, Susie. Howdy. I guess I just got used to checking this map once in a while. Uh, no ranches nearby? Not that I know about. There's a. Uh, there's a custard stand? Well, okay then. You discovered a new map location, the last custard stand. What do you think I should do next? Mm, so this must be Frisco. Heck, I hardly believed him when it, uh, we'd actually made it. Say, Smee looks a mite upset about something. Yep. Yeah. What's going on, Smee? I'm also expecting a Packer sometime this week and I heard a noise outside and I got excited. This fancy pants calls himself the Emperor, and he won't let us build our tracks up to the station. Can you see if you can talk some sense into him? I'm on it. Um, I'll talk to you later. I want to see if there's any other side quests that I was forgetting about. Where's the... It's way back there. I don't want to go there yet. Whatever. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. It'll be fouled. It's 13 to 17. 16 to 19. Plus 6 moxie. Stench damage. Poison. Oh, it's, this is ridiculous. <laughs> this whole setup. I love it. Oh, locomotion. You're cute. The old steam horse. Bronze piece. The good old heavy leviathan. Okay. Let's talk to you, crazy man. Who the heck are 
heck are you? I'm Emperor Norton. I'm in charge of this city, and you can't build any train tracks here without my permission. An emperor? Where's your crown then? As it happens, I lost my dang crown. Fool didn't fool thing didn't fit right anyway. But without it, I can't issue any official permits, and that means no rails for you. Unless, of course, you were to give me a new crown. A properly fitting one. Well, I've got this creepy crown. <laughs> emperor maker. That was a very good achievement. Good achievement noise. Great googly moogly, that's a heck of a thing. <laughs> googly moogly is very good too. Hmm, fits pretty nice though. Alright, fine, you got yourself a deal. Welcome to Frisco. Great, thanks. Turn around for one second so I can use your back to sign this permit. <laughs> and done. The movie theater up the street has the final cutscene whenever you're ready. <gasps> oh, the whole game, I could beat the game today. I'm not done. That was some epic final music. Now, <laughs> now playing the final cutscene. No. Oh no, I'm gonna finish the game. <laughs> Not ready, pick it up. I got a comedy flyer. Read it. You read the garbage, it turns out to be a flyer for a comedy shack up north of Frisco. You jot down the location of your map, then throw the flyer away. Okay. All right, how long have I been recording? It's just nearly identical houses as far as the eye can see in that direction. Okay. What's in here? <gasps> spittoon! Spittoon! Yes! Oh boy, another spittoon! <laughs> Let's go! Uh, what's with the excitement? I've given up! This is the last spittoon in the game and I'm not gonna try it. I'm convinced you not to be the most disgusting person on earth anymore. Let's go, let's do this! Yeah, search the filthy spittoon! You kneel down on the floor and throw your arms around the spittoon, giving the... Give me the greasy brass bucket a big hug. How about a kiss? Would you like to kiss? Would you like to kiss it? You know it, baby. You... Gosh dang it, this is good. You pucker up and give the spittoon a great big kiss right on the rim. Is there tongue involved? Well, I'll leave that up to you. I'll leave that up to you. But even without it, the taste... It tastes like a burning horse. I love it. I know you do, friend. And even if it were legal in this country... Uh, and if it were legal in this country, I'd let you marry that spittoon and have a beautiful romantic honeymoon night with it. But unfortunately, you're going to have to settle for wearing it as a hat. Yes, but- <gasps> Spittoon hat? <laughs> you flip that beautiful brass bucket over and slap it on your head, drenching yourself in a hot brown tobacco spit. It washes down over your face and hair like a sewage waterfall and soaking your clothes and root running down your collar. Gross, slithering into your underwear and filling your boots. I can't even force myself to describe it in any more detail than that. You're the foulest human being. Congratulations. Hooray! Spittoon hat. Aww. Let's see what it looks like. It's a good look. I do like my... Oh no, where did my sticks go? My prototype sets and some better stuff though. What's going on over here, fellas? Talk to you. Well, I'll be a new face. I'm Clunsey. Make yourself a home. Thanks. I'm Edna Goldthwaite. New to town? I've been helping uh, Manifest Destiny get the rail tracks laid. It was a tough job, but we finally got here. Sounds like you could use a drink. Clunsey, I sure could. What have you got? Increases must by nine, mysticality, or moxie. Olive gin go. New fashioned. Uh... New Amsterdam. That new name is never gonna stick. I think Mysticality. Oh, I was gonna... Sorry, no darts management. Okay. What's with the huge brawl? Oh, them fellas are always blowing off steam. I just let them go ahead and get their aggression out. So long as they keep over there away from the furniture that I've got. Uh, what can you tell me about Frisco? Oh, it's a fine town. A fellow named Samson Frisco founded it way back when the mines first opened out this way and everyone caught the fever. Mining fever? Yep, the kind you get from breathing too much dirt. Frisco is stuck, you see. Oh, I gotcha. Bye-bye, barman. Oh, no. I was just gonna walk over here. Dive in. That's very good. Okay, let's try it. Whoa, these jerks are quick. Uh-oh. Uh oh, that's okay. Oh, you're so cute. Lava Fava, I mean. Lava Fava, you right back. Huh, so, well, you actually have quite a bit of health. 
trying to shoot this target with the, oh, four to seven, okay. Uh, nine spooky damage, ten cold, and the mysticality will increase by twenty. Yeah, do that. And then that. But yeah. Susie, attack! Take some cover. One hot damage. Gonna have to do better than that, boys. Take my flaming beans. I think you'll probably oh a drunk chef dies. I didn't mean to kill him, I'm sorry. Take this. Oh, I can't believe we're at the end of the game, so I think I'll probably uh save one more episode and we'll go around this last left side whatever else we end up needing to do. Unless it, that ends up being way too long. But I think we'll probably have one last episode after this. And then I'll have to look for a new game. I can't even conceive that. Oh, I've been playing this almost as long as I've had my channel. Oh. What am I gonna do next? Well, if you have any ideas for what you'd like to see me play, please let me know down below. I love having longer Let's Plays. Um, decent tequila, whoa. Uh, I love having longer Let's Plays, although I do enjoy the one-shots that I keep fighting on Game Jolt. So, let's go station. Okay. Where's Susie? Oh. You did it! Thanks, boss! No problem. We got the track laid right up to the station now. The first ever cross-territorial railroad thanks to the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company and principally you. You did a real good job, Edna Goldthwait. Aw, oh, shucks. Don't mention it. We made it! We got all the way west! We surely did! Thanks for having me along, Edna. It's been good times, by and large. Aw, oh, heck, Susie Cotrain. Are you fixing to split on me? Ha, huh, nah. I got no particular press and business. I'll stick around till you're finished. Whatever you think it is you're doing. High five. Oh, I thought you'd actually high five. Uh, am I forgetting anything? Oh, yeah. The cow's bane. Redwood. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that logging permit, Alpha Brado technology. Okay, so I got a couple of things left here. We can explore this side of town. So we'll probably have one episode, maybe two. I don't know. Probably one. I'll try and fit it into one. How long have I been going? Over a half hour. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, I might actually just record it right now. So, thank you so much for joining me on this epic potentially penultimate adventure in West of Luling, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, bye!